Hello everybody, this is Alex and the Polish Gamers bringing you part 3 of my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play. Um, when we left off, I had just taken Malta, or at least the city of Medina in Malta. Now we call it Sita Vecchia. I guess we changed the name or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we have our trade post here that we conquered from the Ziani family. Those bastards who uh, tried to build a trade post on our land, and then we immediately took it. So, they lost that. Um, and then pretty much everything else is calm. We have our two trade posts here in Spielt and, or no, is it, oh, it's, what is this? Split. Oh, it's Split. Uh, and then we have Zadar, where we have, um, our city of, what is it, Zara. Okay, so, basically we have, um, just a bunch of trade posts, one city, uh, two cities, and three trade posts. So it's pretty good. I mean, not that grand, because we don't have any real holdings. Which is why I'm going to conquer Malta. And the way I'm going to do this is very simple. I'm going to just go to the Declare War screen. Alright, Declare War. And seize Malta. And I can do this because I already control about half of Malta by controlling one of the two cities he has. So if I just say seize Malta, I just declare war on him. I'm going to cost, um, I'm going to lose 100 prestige, and I'm going to lower all Muslim opinion of me by 25, but that's not a really big deal to me, because Muslims hate Christians, it's natural in this time period, so I'm going to seize Malta, there we go, uh, he's going to start besieging my town, it's okay, because I am going to be there in a few turns, or not turns, a few days, or weeks, whatever, so I'm going to raise my levies, bark, quickly, speed off, alright, Start up the game, put it on about three. There we go. The Great Ball, Patrician Vitale of Faliero, will soon be hosting a Great Ball in his family palace, and every Patrician family in the Republic has been invited, except for yours. Your dynasty's relation with the Faliero family has been tense as of late, as you're competing with them in several important markets. The decision not to invite Dandalo members to the hall can only be seen as a grave insult. As you sit brooding in the chambers of your own palace, you wonder how to tackle the situation. Will you turn up at the ball anyway, pretending that there has been some mistake, or will you turn back the other cheek and accept this off front to Dandalo honor? Um, ah, screw it, ready my carriage, why not? Alright, now, the reason I didn't hire any mercenaries for this was because they only have a 180 man army, and my 785 man army can easily crush them, so I'm just going to invade. Alright, there we go. Arriving at the ball, you show up at the Faliero family palace with your entourage and make your way past the posted guards before they can block your way. Music and laughter can be heard from inside the palace, but it seems to die out the moment you step inside. Hushed whispers are all that can be heard as everyone's eyes seem to focus on you. Patrician Bono, someone calls out. Patrician Vitali emerges from the crowd with a smile on his face. How kind of you to join us. May I see your invitation? As you struggle for words, guards surround you and your party. No invitation? That's a shame. With a small wave from Vitali, the guards drag you all outside and throw you down the stairs of the entrance. Lying on your back in the dirt, you see Vitali grinning down on you. You will live to regret this. Mark my words. Alright. Basically, what that bastard just did was, um... He just kind of kicked us out of his house. We had no right to be there. I uh, I saw that coming. I've, that's popped up for me before. I just figured I'd let the event happen anyway. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make this guy's life a living hell, and we're going to do that by starting a plot to kill him. That's right. You kick us out of your party, we kill you. So we have 387.5% plot power. So oh, we have a daughter. Uh, I'll name her Elizabeth. Elizabeth. There we go. We have one son, Alexander, and one daughter, Elizabeth, so we're, we're good for now. Alright, we just won that little battle there. I'm going to move my ships into harbor, disband them, and that, I do that because um, ships cost a lot of up uh, upkeep, because they are in the ocean, they require reinforcements, repairs, food supplies, all that stuff, and um, they're expensive, so when you disband them, they don't cost you anything, it's cheap, quick, easy, you know, simple. Anyways, now, back to those Faliero guys. Yes, House Faliero. So, the plot power I have is 387%, basically means um, I am bound to kill him. But if I invite this guy, I get about 1,000, so what's his opinion? Send gift? Uh, sure. Send gift, and he still says no. Well, waste of money, but whatever. I don't really care. Sorry for going so fast. Uh, nothing I can do. Um, 51%? Nah, I'll, j I'll just wait till the plot works out. Eventually it'll work. You know what? Sometimes you need somebody else in your pot, but you don't always need 
Um, you don't always need another member of your plot for some, for some reason. Uh, I'll see that. Yes, okay, so this guy I'll hopefully accept, and then we'll kill the bastard who kicked us out of his house, Valiero. What's his, what's his first name? Vitali? Vitali Valiero. Alright. So he accepted, and now we have a plot power of 487, so it went up 100. Now what just happened here was the Venetian Doge, Doge, whatever, basically our president, declared war on Sheik of Malta, which is the guy who owns this province that I'm besieging, and they're going to try and take it. That's not going to work out for them, because I'm already taking it, my war started first, and uh, by the time they show up, I'll probably already have the, have the entire county under my control. So no worries there. No worries at all. I just find it funny that they're hiring mercenaries, they're getting their men together. Holy, look how many men they hired. 3,569. It's pathetic. Yeah. Oh. They just helped me out a little bit. I'm just going to assault it because I can. Speed up a little bit. Ooh. Uh, my co-conspirator has sent word that the carriage is traveling, that carriage Vitaly is traveling on will soon suffer an unfortunate accident. Alright, whatever. Um, basically what happens is two plots are formed at the same time, and we're going to lose a siege. Alright, my wife's pregnant. God damn it. Success. The carriage was sent flying over the edge of a cliff with Patrician Vitaly still in it. The driver I bribed has also been dealt with, so we killed the guy. Oh hey, we actually won the siege. All right, how, how lucky. Oh crap. What? What the hell? All right, well it looks like uh, the Venetian army got there just in time to save us from these North African guys right here, uh, who are also fighting for. Oh no, they're reinforcing for Sicily. So, I'm gonna quickly end this war. Oh, where'd he go? I'm gonna end the war, and boom, there we go. I got my county, and now I have my first title, my first real title. I have the county of Malta, I have the city of Zara, the barony of Slema, and the house of Vindalo. Those are my titles, so it's, it's pretty good. Alright. Now, I'm going to move around my counselors. This guy's I'm going to leave him in Rome because I need to get better relations with the Pope, who pretty much hates me. Uh, so that's good for now. This guy can stay in Zadar to train troops. This guy can collect taxes. This guy can stay there. Ooh. Uh, we would like to appoint you to Marshal, what do you say? Sure. Alright, so, my spy master can stay there to build a spy network, my steward can collect taxes, and, uh, my court chaplain is level 3. He's absolutely terrible, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Intrigue, and I'm going to invite a holy man to my church, which can cost about 5 piety, but definitely worth it. So now I have a new, new court chaplain. He's level 6, and I'm going to have him convert the populace. I'm going to invite one more holy man, so, um, and see if he has a better skill. Six is not very good. Yes, yeah, 16. All right, that's definitely better. Put him there. And the reason that I need somebody good to convert the populace is because these guys are still Muslim in these cities. And while they're Muslim, they won't give me any reinforcements, any ships, any taxes, or anything. So basically, these two cities are useless until I convert them to Christianity. So it's a good, good relationship to have with the Pope because the more people you convert, the more sp the spread of Christianity. You know, you're increasing the the general influence of it, so everything's good. Now, to deal with the Faliero family, they made the mistake of insulting me, so I killed their patrician. Now they only have one family member left. They have some more, but I'm not going to worry about... Oh my Jesus Christ, how many children he has. Anyways, this guy is the new head of the family, and he only has two children. So, I'm going to destroy his trade empire. Alright, so basically, this guy, his trade where is it? There it is. His trade is right here. He controls um... Alright, so this is mine is right here, Dandalo. Dandalo. So I control these two areas. This guy controls the little coast of Italy the little heel, I guess, out of the boot because this is the boot, this is the heel. He controls this little area against you know, Greece, Byzantine Empire. And then Ziani is also our enemies. We're gonna leave them alone for now. Uh, Morosini, they're completely irrelevant, and so is Contarini. So those guys aren't affecting us right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to seize this, the one right here in uh, Apulia. I'm gonna do that because I want to have complete, utter control of the Adriatic Sea right here. So he 
doesn't control this ocean, but he does have a trade post on it. And I don't like that, because he can interfere with my trade. So, I'm going to start the game up. I'm going to invade and take it over. Very simple. Now, where is he? Um, Alright. Those messages that pop up uh, are because I am... Oh. What the hell? A son was born to Count Bono of Malta. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, Bono. I'll have a second Bono in my family. Alright, so what just happened here was... These... Alatia, what the hell? Uh, these guys are... Where are they? Oh, they're Pizan. Alright, well, we're gonna deal with them eventually, but for now... Um, I'm going to deal with the Ziani family. So, go here, go to... Oh, Fiat Faliero, not Ziani, what am I saying? Alright, I'm going to go to declare war, and I'm going to see the Apulia trade post. So, oh, alright. My daughter turned six, which means she needs to be educated. So I'll go here, and I'll find the guy with the highest intrigue. 17? Oh, that's me. What the hell? Alright, highest marshal. That's also me. Um, how about the highest learning? Sure. This guy. Alright. Now, back to Apulia. I'm going to go here. I'm going to declare one Faliero and take it. And there's no repercussions because we already hate each other. So, um, might as well just seize it. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invade their little home city right here, their palace. I'm going to take it because I can. So I'm going to take the city of House Valiero, city of Veglia. Uh, sure, whatever. Oh crap! They have a huge army. Who is that? Alright, looks like we're going to have to hire mercenaries for this one. Um, go down to mercenaries. I'm going to hire some cheap ones, hopefully. What do they have? Damn, I'm going to need over 2,000. Uh-huh. 500. 2,100. Sure, I'll just hire these guys, alright. So this way I have enough men to outnumber them, but it's not too many. And then once, I, once I've taken this little, little city, then I'll... Sail down, take over, pull ya. Yep, that was quick. Alright, raise my ships, put them here, drop down the speed, put them on the ships. Alright, quickly send them over here. And the great thing about this is that my ships are so quick that I actually have my army there before they even get there. So, basically, they're gonna have to attack me, I'm in a good defensive position, and they lose a lot more, ca they lose a lot more men. They take more casualties. Alright, there we go. So now, not only do we clo we hold their entire capital city where their palace is, their main family living area, we also about to take their entire trade empire apart. Uh, Abelardo's justice has brought peace to a troubled province. Fewer crimes are committed and fewer complaints are heard. The peasants have never been happier. Who is this? My steward? Alright, good. Well, looks like my steward's a pretty good guy. Alright, now I'm going to take Bari. Now the thing I have to worry about is that they could try and take back Apulia. Yeah, they're going to. So I'm just going to stay there and wait until they show up. Uh, son was born to my brother. I don't really care. Yep. Hopefully they'll attack me because I am well, it's a mountainous position so the defender gets a huge bonus. Yep. Alright. I'm not too worried because these guys aren't really that grand at fighting. Uh, looks like my son, my namesake, needs an education, so I'm going to have him educated by... Uh... Pandolf. He has the highest... He has the highest diplomacy. It's always good to have in a leader. Alright. You, you don't really need that much of a martial skill in a leader, because um, you can always have a man from your kingdom rule your armies, but you can never have a man from your kingdom deal with your lords. Which I mean, like, um... A higher diplomacy skill is more valuable to me than a higher martial skill at some points, especially when you're playing as a republic. Jesus Christ, my... What is it? Does he have a lust trait? No? Does she have a lust trait? Yeah, she's lustful. Okay, that explains it. I'm just popping out babies left and right. Oh, it's 100%. Might as well enforce my demands and end the war. There we go. So now I control the entire Adriatic Sea. This entire little strip of ocean right here, and uh, no one can no one can send their ships throughout here without my consent. So, <laughs> feel like um, feel pretty powerful. Ooh. No, I'm just gonna. Basically, when you disband your troops in an unfriendly land, you lose a lot of them, which affects the fighting force, affects the amount of men you can get after that army. So I'm gonna send them back home and just disband them there. 
excuse me. My throat's a little sore after talking so much. Alright, so, now, an update on our little empire is that we control Malta. <coughs> we control Malta. We control all of the Adriatic. And hopefully, we're going to take this little, this little, um, Pizan thing right here. I don't know why the hell they'd build it over here, because that was a mistake. It's a very bad idea. But I'm not going to take that just yet, because Pizza, uh, not Pizza, Pizza, uh, Pizza is very powerful, because they have so much land, they actually control this island, this little coastline right here. Uh, Serene Doge has just declared war for the Sicily. Oh, God. Where do you declare war? Right here. So, apparently we want Kirkent. I'm not going to get involved in that war, because I have more important things to worry about, like killing the Ziani family. Now, Giovanni is still alive. He's the guy who insulted us. Well, not the Faliero guy insulted us, but this guy... This guy tried to build a trade post on our land. Ooh, what the hell? Alright, well, looks like Malta was invaded. Get my men over there quickly. Hopefully I can beat them. See, this is why a uh, wealthy local noble is looking to escape. Alright, we've had this one before. Basically, the wealthy noble um, had a relationship with one of the other family's daughters, and now he needs to get away, so we get a free hundred dollars. 300 gold, I mean. Alright, hopefully I can... Uh, sure, whatever. Marry him off to my courtier. Hopefully, this will be enough, um, enough men to kill this pretty big, uh, Muslim army. I don't know why they invaded Malta, but whatever. Uh, daughter was born. Sure, Elena. I like that name. Elena. Whatever. Sounds good to me. Alright. Yeah, I think we won this pretty easily. I don't know why Muslims and Pagans are not ever very good at fighting in this game. In real life, pagans and Muslims were extremely good at fighting, and they spent most of their lives fighting, so... I don't know why. As, when I say that, I mean they spent most of their time fighting because of Christianity, and Christianity tried to kill Muslims, pagans, and the like. So whenever I play as Poland, or I used to play as Poland, um, these poor little pagan bastards would always get destroyed quickly because they couldn't fight in this game. Hopefully they'll release a DLC in the future where... It affects that. Uh, a childless courtier with a strange choice of lifestyle has shown men a bit more attention. Might it be he's a sodomite? Alright, basically a sodomite deals with, um... Well, it deals with, uh... It, I don't wanna... It deals with rectal sex. Alright, so, get that over with. Basically, he's gay. Um, Pandolf is the guy who... Is the guy who's tutoring... He's tutoring, uh, my child. So I'm going to... Accuse him. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I don't want him to uh, lose reputation because then my children will be known as being tutored by a uh, homosexual. When that's bad in this time period. I mean, I have nothing against homosexuals, but at this time period, it was very, very bad thing to be, uh, to be, you know, exposed as a homosexual. So it doesn't look like anything bad happened there to the poor guy, though. Where is he? Pandolf. Pandolf. Yeah, he looks. Oh, yes, he's a homosexual. Well, it doesn't really affect him all that much. Only minus 15% fertility. I mean, does he have a family? Poor bastard's not even married. Uh, can I marry him off to some random person? Sure. Oh, hell no. $300. Not worth it. Usually when I'm, whenever I play as a Christian king or non-republic, I just marry my unmarried vassals off so they can have children. Which is a little strange, but works out in the end. Uh, Baron Pandolf is no longer guardian. Oh, what did he do? Did he die? Oh no, he's granted land. What happened? What the? All right, so he was granted the barony of ben Benevento by who? This guy? What the? I have no idea what's going on. All right, well, there goes my counselor. He's a very good counselor. Now I got this guy. Are you kidding me? All right, whatever. Alexander needs a new tutor. Looks like I'm stuck with Candido. Whatever. Uh, can I invite, can I invite somebody who's good at, uh, good, good at, um, being a counselor? One second, I'll, no, I can't. That's unfortunate. Anyways, the dock workers ha handling the loading and unloading of your ships have become quite efficient. Disembarked crews are complaining that they barely have enough time to get drunk in Venezia before their galleys are ready to set sail again. Alright, well, another hundred gold, and 
Managing this large staff of servants is in many ways like managing a small realm. There are many duties to be performed, and getting things to run, getting things to run smoothly is a true challenge. Uh, plus one stewardship. All right. Well, gained stewardship and gained uh, gained money. It's always a good day. It's a good day today. Looks like these Muslims are trying to go to Christian lands, which I don't like. What the hell? What the hell happened here? Huh. <laughs> Looks like these guys succeeded. Or yeah, succeeded from. Oh. The regular, the old duke, the old duke died. Not duke. <laughs> uh, can we get a better damn it? No, we can't. So I'm going to just have my counselor get uh, better relations with the Duke of Apulia. Not much else he's good for with a skill level of five. He's a poor diplomat. All right, Cataldo. Is this my nephew? Yeah, it's my nephew. Uh, I have a good nephew. Uh. I'll tutor myself. Might as well get him a good martial skill. Alright, looks like we took Gurgenti. Alright, well, Venice is starting to expand all over North Africa and Sicily. Which is good, but not good for me because the patricians are going to be able to build trading posts everywhere. Don't like that. Right. So, once you hit this part in the game, it's kind of difficult to figure out what exactly you want to do. And what I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to conquer Croatia. Oh, excuse me. One of your ships has returned from a foreign port with a cargo of rare spice. Word is spread throughout Venezia and the local nobility is already lining up at the docks. <laughs> Alright, plus 100. I like this. Plus 100 every once in a while, it's pretty good for the economy. Alright, now what I'm going to do is, like I was saying, I'm going to conquer Croatia. Very simply, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to... Uh, huh, I don't know. How many men can this guy raise? Now, the way, to, the way to see how many men somebody can raise is you go here, you go to the realm tree, and then you check, and you see that they raise uh, 1966, so 1,966. I can raise 496 plus whatever mercenaries, so... Eh, screw it. It's going to be a hard battle, but I think I can do it. I'm going to take the entire province of Zadar. Alright. Raise my men. Hire my mercenaries. Oh, wow. Alright, 75. Pretty cheap. There we go. And I'll I'll take the other cities here. So, basically, I'll just conquer Shebenik and Bishopric of Kinin. Alright. Now, they're going to try to attack me. And hopefully, they'll lose because they're too weak. I think I'm going to hire... Oh, zero. <laughs> you can hire... Zero men for 70... Oh, no, it's because I can dismiss them. All right. Um, not really going to hire anybody else because I feel like that would be overkill at this point. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Yep, they're going to definitely try and attack me and hopefully I'll come out on top. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to win this. Uh, truces are expiring with Ziani and I'll definitely be able to use... Oh, I lost? Are you serious? How did I lose? I had way more men than they did. Alright, I'm gonna re reinvade. Hopefully I can win this time. I honestly have no... Uh, my nephew Cataldo is turning into an arrogant little bastard. I might have to rein him in a bit. Uh, sure, whatever. I don't really care about my nephew that much. Oh Christ, we got utterly destroyed. Jesus Christ. Uh, sometimes... And trying to do things in this game don't always turn out the best. I'm going to disband that mercenary group because they're completely completely dead now. Hire a new group. And that's the great thing about being uh, being Republic is you have so much cash you can just hire mercenaries and refill your armies. Yep. My brother had another child. Oh, what? I never offered peace. This is bullshit. What the hell? What? When did I ever... This is... Alright, well... Sometimes this game can be frustrating when... It's, that was a complete and utter... Utter farce. There was no reason for me to even have that... Sure, whatever. I'll ransom that random bastard. Oh, okay. So, apparently, the... Faliero bastard, uh, Pietro, is trying to seize my... Trade post in Apulia that I took from him. Well, unfortunately, he might not live to see the day that that occurs. There we go, 23%. And usually about 100% or more, you pretty much have, um, uh, automatically kill a guy. So, 
he's pretty much dead now, and I'm not too worried about his plot. Yeah, of course he will say no. Uh, anyways, it was frustrating because I was, I had the ability to win that war, and all of a sudden, it says no. I'm uh, gonna have to wait for the truces to expire. Well, anyways, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna wait for my army to to build back up because that was a humiliating defeat. Uh, all right, he said yes. Well, everything went from being pretty pretty awesome to pretty suckish right now because I have no idea. I, mean, I have no idea how all this happened. One minute I have expansion and good cancelers, and next minute I have utter crap. I can't believe I even lost that war. I had to pay so much money. Ah, uh, whatever. Poachers have been seen in Venezia, so I could probably spend my spy master and my marshal to investigate. Uh, they have more important things to do. Spy master and spy master. Okay, whatever, sure. I'll see my spy master's out. Uh, Drizoslav caught two young poachers with a couple of dead rabbits at their belts and a live one in a snare. Deal with them yourself. Uh... Kill them and mount their tarred heads above the gates. I'll deal with them myself. Deal with them myself. Alright. Well, pretty much free prestige. Lots of free things in this game. Anyways, the Ziani family. I'm going to seize another one of their trade posts. Because, uh, the truce expired with them. So. Yep. I can either take... Oh my god, my wife is pregnant again. Uh, I think I'm going to take the Syracuse up. In the way... Ooh. I watched my nephew Cataldo at play and noticed that he didn't want to share his toys. He needs a lecture, whatever. Okay, he's charitable. Now I'm going to take Syracuse because it is. It's on this little island of Sicily right here. It's in pretty good position on the Gulf of. The Golfo di Toronto. And uh, it's, it's down in the southern area of Italy where I only have Malta. So the, I'm going to try and connect my Adriatic Sea right here. I'm going to try and connect Dandalo here, and I'm going to try and connect it all the way down to here. So if I take if I take this, take this, take this, then eventually I'll have a little connecting area that goes all the way here, all the way to Venice, which is a pretty good idea, because it's going to earn me a lot of money. Now, my army is pretty much refueled, and I can always hire mercenaries. Not too worried. So uh, I figured I'll just declare war then. Where is it? God, it's frustrating to get to the screen. Just declare war. Siani. Here. Oh, come second. What is this? Uh, to the glorious Count Bono, may you live in ha harmony and contentment. We would like you to black to back our plot to kill Marco Morosini. Uh, cancer de solo. Who's this Morosini? Oh, wow. <laughs> His own cancer is trying to kill him. Uh, this guy has only small opinion of me. And he only has one city in Gisolo. Sure, I'll accept. He looks, he's pretty powerful. Uh, he's even, he's even the heir. He's gonna be the next doge. Huh. Well, not if he's dead. Alright, now back to Ziani. Declare war on him. Where is it? Uh, seize Reggio. I don't think I'll just take Syracuse. Alright, raise my armies. I'm gonna immediately invade here. Yep, my little, little force should kill theirs quickly. Uh, Enrico Dandalo claims he'd be a better spy master than Drusislav. Let's see, Drusislav is... Uh... Seven. My Enrico is eight. Uh, just give him a chance. It's not really a big difference. Alright, looks like we won the battle, but just just barely. Very, very, very barely. Uh, I'm gonna have my daughter educated by the best intrigue, which is me, so... Just, again, educate my own child. Alright. Looks like we've pretty much already taken their main city, so no worry there. A daughter was born to Count Bono of Malta and Count Unia, named, um... I don't know. I don't know any names. <laughs> Just name her Anna. There we go. Now we've easily taken this little city. Oh, hunger bites. Alright. Not too worried about this battle. There are snakes out there who can fell a grown man instantly if such a one was to visit Patrician Pietro of Faliero in his bedchambers at night. Uh, I know where to get the snake. Sure. 
Francesco is delighted to learn that Marco is soon to be the victim of a savage, ah, savage snake attack. May the Lord forgive me. All right. Well, we took the city, and I am backing the plot to kill Marco, and I've already got the snake. So once we get the snake into his bed, he will die. It's a terrible death if you think about it. One minute you're lying there quiet. Ooh, success. The snake performed its duty with a pl uh, with a plomb and punched, plump, uh, pumped Marco full of its deadly venom. It slipped away into the night, and the guards are now too busy contending with a string of lethal snake attacks to search for those responsible. Well, that was quite easy. Uh, he's not my spy master because he the, the skill level is slightly better, which makes it makes it uh, easier for me. Elizabeth is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. How about a pat on the head? Sure, whatever. Uh, famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. Give him patronage, I gain the proud trait. Ignore him, I lose. Oh my god, I lose all those opinions. I'll just give him patronage. Oh my god. Seeing Patrician Pietro Felio with his nose deep in the cup, it suddenly struck me. Whatever. I thought Pietro was dead. And I was excommunicated. That is not good. That is not good at all. Alright, so, so many things are happening at once. Basically, I think I killed Pietro. Where is he? It's Morosini. Yes, I did. I killed Pietro Morosini, who's dead. And now I'm trying to kill Pietro Felier. Oh, no, no, no. I was trying to kill... Whatever, he's dead. The guy of Morosini over there in Venice. Now, I'm trying to seize this trade post. But at the same time, I was just excommunicated, which is absolutely terrible. Okay, this is very, very bad. Uh, I need to improve my relations with the Pope. Can't send him $800, that's craziness. Can I... Um, buy indulgences for my sins? Alright, I'll issue a declaration of whatever. Basically, when you're excommunicated, you're no longer part of the church, and everybody can attack you. They can say, this guy isn't part of the church, he is... Oh, yes, okay, so, so many things, Jesus Christ. Basically, uh, this, the Holy Father has agreed to, oh, God, I lose 145 gold. My daughter Elizabeth is a terrible little rascal, she just gave her new toy to the Smith's son, and she's turning out well. Uh, success. It seems the wine did not agree with Patrician P Pietro Faliero. He died not knowing the name of his killer. So, Pietro's dead. Oh well. I don't care. Yes, he succeeded. Now I'm going to send my ships home. Get rid of them. And what happened was, um, Malta converted to... Oh my god! This guy is 11 skill, and this guy is 6 skill as being Cancellor. He's now my new Cancellor. Alright. I'm going to put him to work, trying to improve my relations with the Pope. Alright, no, nothing... No, ah, God, so many things are happening, my brain is confused. Serene Doge just declared war for the city of Mazara on Duke of Salerno. So now we're trying to take... We're trying to take this poor bastard's city. Alright. My only goal is to take the trade post of Ziani and to kill the Faliero family. So, I succeeded in killing the, the guy who's um, Pietro. I also killed... Uh, I also killed Vitaly, so now Vitaly's son, Michael, is, uh, he is the Italian duke, um, the Italian, whatever, patrician. He does not like me at all. He hates me. He hates my guts. Oh my god, okay, well, he's really good skills. He's Midas Touch, proud, just, ambitious, kind, greedy, well, greedy's bad, but everything else is pretty good. My skills are, uh, elusive shadow, scholar, wrath, brave, arbitrary, ambitious, and deceitful. Arbitrary is bad. Wrath is bad, but everything else is good. Brave is very good. Scholar and Elusive Shadow. Also, Combat Modifier. So, all those things are great. Anyways, back to the battle. I'm gonna finish this up. Not much to see, really. I mean... There we go. We control... Well, we took their city, and then we also took... We also took, uh... Took the trade post. There we go. We gained another trade post right here. Nope. There we go. Where? Where? There we go. So, we control... We control this, and we control this, and now, um, because there's... The Ziani have their one last trade post there, and we have ours there. No one controls this, because we're fighting for it. So, it's blank, basically. But otherwise, everything's going fairly well for us. 
Well, it wasn't going so well a few minutes ago, but now it is going fairly well. I need to get these guys back home, unfortunately, get my ships. This is all because I can't disband them there without losing too many men. I don't understand why they can't just march to Malta. Alright, disband them. And disband them. Alright, now as I was saying, Malta converted to Christianity. So now, we should get... Oh, we get ships. We get four ships. And, uh... In a little while, we'll be able to get... We'll be able to get, uh... An army there. So I'm going to send my... I'm going to send my marshal there to build up some uh, troops. So then that way we can have a larger army size. I could build a new holding, but this could cost me a lot of money. And as you can see, uh, our balance is a little low right now because we've been fighting so many wars, so many mercenaries, and we've had to pay the Pope a crazy amount of money. Just, uh, money? What the hell is money? I meant money just to get our excommunication lifted. Well, now everything's back to normal. We're fully Catholic. We've taken... We took Malta, we converted to Christianity for the, the good of uh, the good of the church. We seized the Ziani's only, well, one of the Ziani's only trade posts. They only have one left. And we fought a absolutely terrible war against Croatia and lost absolutely humiliatingly. Now, in the next episode, I think I'm going to try and take the little, what is this? Well, it used to be Duclesia. But I'm going to try and seize one of their cities so I can build my empire down this coastline. Or eventually, I'm going to try and take Zadar as well. And I'm not going to mess it up this time like I did last time. Alright, so everything is going pretty smoothly. And um, I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you for watching. It was a strange episode. Not feeling so great today. So it's been an interesting, interesting recording. And uh, thank you for watching, thank you to all the new subscribers, I've officially reached over 100, I've got like 118 now, which is crazy, I mean, I gained, I gained uh, about, what, 38? 38 subscribers in the past 3-4 days, which is crazy for me, I never had that many viewers, 500 views on my first video, about 160 on my other one, so uh, hopefully I'll continue being successful and Gain more subscribers. I mean, it's all great for me. I enjoy it. Hope you all enjoy my videos. So, uh, thank you for watching.